Hi, I'm Scott Harvey from SRH Mill College. Um, I started business 20 years ago with me and my wife. We bought one truck. Um, at the moment, we've got about 60 on the road. We cut about a million and a half litres of milk every day. This year is our 20th anniversary. Yeah, in New South Wales, we go uh, from Sydney to basically the border of Queensland. We pick up for all the major companies as Murray Goulburn, Lion Nathan, Norco, um, A2 Australia. So we sort of cover all the major ones and pick up only purely off dairy farms and cut the factories in Queensland and Sydney. Then from there, we do Western Australia. There's uh, five companies over there and we do it for the whole five companies, which is the Parmalat, the Browns, Lion Nathan, Milk Market and A2 Australia again. So uh, between both areas, we do about 1.5 to 1.6 million every day of the week, 365 days a year. And we're based at um, 160 Racecourse Road, Rutherford, um, is, our, is our depot in, in New South Wales. And in WA, it's a place called Brunswick Junction, which is only the basic, the two main bases. Over the last 20 years, we've bought uh, now, I think it's about 160 new Volvos. Uh, we've also bought some Max, Kenworths, Benzes, Scanyas over the years, but we just seem to be going back to the Volvos and they're doing a great job for us. So that's probably why we're stuck to them. Um, mainly the safety and reliability. So safety's been the big thing for us, the drive, ease of driving. Um, get out at the end of the day and you know, feel like you'd probably go again most days, but yeah, it's just the ease of driving. Volvo on its whole has lifted the game and we don't have any downtime, so that's what we're after in this industry, no downtime. We have our own workshop in, in Rutherford where we are, and that's basically 100% trailer work. We don't do any work on the trucks, they're all done through Volvo maintenance contracts, and um, whoever we buy the prime movers off, look after the prime movers for us. We, we sort of gather all the information for all the dairy companies from the tankers send it to the server. The server defilters into which companies we're carting for and then uh, we go through it every morning and basically send it off to them at eight o'clock of the morning. So there's you know no errors in it or anything like that. If a driver's put in a wrong farm number or anything like that, it's easy to pick up and we, we fix it up and send it to our people we cart for. King Bars, we started using uh, probably 12 months ago. We put it on our, one of our first FHs. Um, yeah, we found them nice and solid, and probably since then we haven't ordered anything else. We've been putting the King Bars on everything. So, so hopefully, within a couple of years, they'll be on the whole 60 of them. So, and hopefully, then we'll have more trucks by then, and they'll, they'll go on them. So, but at the moment, yeah, they're going good. So. We were having a little bit of problems with kangaroos when it got dry and we could notice the bull bars were running were actually starting to bend a bit if we did hit a roof. And uh, so we did have to try something else. And then just the sheer look of the king bar is why we went that way. And uh, it's been tested against the uh, things in life, I suppose you could say, and uh, stood up pretty well so far. So it's, they've been good. So. I think that we continue to grow. My daughter's um, been working for me for seven years now. Um, she knows everything about the company as, as such. Um, the only thing I really do now is order the machinery, like the trucks and the trailers, which is her next step. So once she figures all that out, uh, that's it basically. Handball. <laughs> no, not really. I'll be helping her out, but yeah, that's what we're basically grooming the daughter to take over.